brothers and sisters. My name is Amber and welcome to Cloud9 Blessings. This is my very first YouTube video and I am very excited to share with you an amazing rapture and tribulation dream which I received on April 25th of 2020. This is actually one of many dreams that I have received this year and I believe that this is the right time for me to share with you with such great urgency, especially of what is going on with the world around us. I hope that this video blesses you today and that you can share it, like and subscribe to this channel and that you have accepted Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If all of a sudden millions of people from all over the world have gone missing, I highly urge you to watch this video so that you know exactly what has happened, that you have just experienced the rapture. My rapture begins on what has seemed to be a beautiful spring or summer day. It was so beautiful out, it was nice and warm, and I was walking home on my way from the store with my daughter. As I was walking into my community, I looked up and all of a sudden I noticed a sudden rush of clouds show up from nowhere. I didn't understand this because it was so clear outside in the sky. Where did they come from? I then saw the most beautiful white horses galloping above the clouds in my direction. One horse had a gentleman on it and a woman on another, both wearing white tunics, white prayer shawls with this beautiful blue trim. All I could think of is, wow, how beautiful. In my heart of hearts, I knew that the rapture was about to take place. I then asked this man who was walking beside me, sir, can you see what is going on? He just stood there in fright and said, wow, my gosh, I see it too. We then saw the Lord on a cross above the sky being pulled upright. I couldn't believe it. I literally almost fell to my feet. Just to see this made me feel as if I was there experiencing it. As this was happening, I all of a sudden felt the urgency to spread the news of the Lord to anybody who was around me. There were three women that were walking towards me and I just couldn't help but come to them and say, please tell me that you accept the Lord as your Lord and Savior, that you've accepted him and that you know that he died on the cross for your sins. The first lady I preached to just looked at me and brushed me off like I was crazy. The second lady looked at me and laughed. And then the third lady looked to me as if she wanted to accept the Lord, but felt like she had time. Within a split second, all of a sudden, I started rising up to the sky. I felt such peace, such happiness. And as I was going up, I saw this massive explosion happening away from me. Cloud of smoke, which looked to be like a nuclear bomb that just went off but my focus was on going up and when i got there i was amazed i was in a field of beautiful flowers the flowers were so vivid that it reminded me like something out of what dreams may come with robin williams everything was so vivid the colors the flowers everything was so beautiful so perfect the trees everything i just couldn't help but look and admire and couldn't believe that I was actually in heaven. At this point, I was with a bunch of people who were with me and we were all so happy to see what was going around us. And then a gentleman came up to us as a group and said, are you ready to see your mansions? Are you ready to see what the Lord has created for you? And I said, yes, I was ready to see. I then thought of the Bible and how the Lord says, In my Father's house there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I couldn't wait to see what the Lord has in store for us. I then walked up to this beautiful white mansion, which I knew in my intuition was mine, and it was spectacular. It had beautiful detail and grass. As soon as I walked up the stairs and opened the door, I was in absolute amazement. Right in front of me was Yeshua. He was waiting to greet me in my very own mansion and I was so excited and so happy to see him. I just went right up to him and gave him the biggest hug and told him thank you, thank you, thank you and how much I loved him. He had a beautiful white robe on and a gold sash and then he grabbed me by the hand and he said let me show you what your mansion looked like and let me tell you he knew exactly what I like and what I wanted because the mansion inside it was breathtaking. It had beautiful white furniture, white tables, lots of accessories around it, which was beautiful. And it even had this beautiful glass chandelier, 
with diamonds on it, which was just so breathtaking, breathtaking to look at. From this point, he then took me to the outside balcony and that was even more of a beautiful sight. It had my favorite flower, which is pink bougainvillea and a beautiful balcony overlooking a waterfall and water. It was, it was so beautiful. I can't even tell you in words how amazing it was to see this. At this point then he took me to the kitchen and in the kitchen was a whole nother story. It was so nice because he knew how much I liked to cook. So I started looking at all the details from there and that was another sight. The beautiful white detail from the table to the kitchenware. I was so excited to start cooking and I knew exactly what I was gonna do. And at this point, Yeshua left my mansion and I then started cooking. I just had this urgency to start cooking. So I started cooking and then people started coming in and out of my mansion. People that I didn't even know came to visit me and welcome me into heaven and I started cooking and I actually remember making one particular thing and that was fruit salad. I was so happy that I was in heaven. I can't even describe how excited, how happy I was to be in this place which was my home. It felt like home and I was in the presence of the Lord and others and we were all together as one, as one Christian family. With one split second then, the Lord sent me a message in my mind and said I need to show you something. I was then dropped in the exact place where I was raptured. It was darker than dark outside and I'm not quite sure if it was day or night but it was just completely pitch black. So I then started to walk around to see what was going on and as soon as I started walking into the community where I lived, um, I started seeing crime begin to happen. I actually saw two cops at that point that were hitting somebody with batons and the person was on the floor. That was completely terrifying. I then started uh, walking a little bit faster because I wasn't sure what would happen if I had stuck around long enough. As I walked a little bit more, I then saw a woman who had her purse stolen and there was a man that was running ahead of her with her purse. So I then caught up with him and helped her and gave the purse back to her. She was so happy, but that was also another thing I saw. Then a little bit further ahead, I saw another thing taking place and that was a drug deal, um, exchanging drugs for money. So there was all kinds of things going on in my dream. I then decided to walk um, a little bit around my area but didn't see too much as it was very black and very dark out. I had the feeling in my dream that a lot of people were probably either raptured that lived in my area or out of sheer terror were locked in their homes because of all the crime and all the things that were going on around them. I then decided to uh, walk out of my neighborhood to walk into other areas to see what was going on in other parts of my town. But as soon as I got further and farther away, I noticed that there was somebody that kept creeping up behind me and began to get closer and closer to me. And as I looked back, I noticed he had a black hood on and just kept getting closer. So as soon as I turned around to ask him what he wanted, he just gave me this evil look and said, you don't belong here. I knew that I didn't belong there because I knew that the Lord didn't have that in store for me. He just wanted me to share this message of what it was going to be like for those that are left behind. And the Lord doesn't want that for us. He wants us to accept him now before the rapture takes place. And then this last part of my dream, this is when everything started becoming so very real and I believe ties into what is going on in the world today. I then saw a long demonic hand that started turning this dial on this machine. And as soon as it started turning this dial, I began to start seeing these frequencies and this radioactive stuff going off. And then people started acting in a weird way. I could actually see them walking and moving very strangely as if they were being controlled by this dial. And I could see how people began to start walking alike, began to start acting alike. It was very strange, but I knew that this was all going to happen because it was written in Revelation. And then that's when my dream ended. When I woke up from this dream, I began to remember everything in detail and began to write everything to make sure that I had everything in its right sequence so that when the time was right and when the Holy Spirit told me it was the right time that I could share it with you and now is the time and I believe now is the time for us to be praying together as a whole because time is very short and the return of the Lord is coming very near 
So I would like to end this video with a special scripture from John chapter 3, verse 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. I really hope that this video um, blesses you and your family. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel as I will be sharing many more videos coming soon. Thank you and God bless.